Now, who is, of course, working on uh, our own superhero. Oh, I know. Our real Amleta. I love that name. That works really well. Amleta. And by the way, those stars band-aids are the best band-aids in the world. Yes. It's going to be with me forever. Yes. You can, you can go swimming. You can, like, stick your finger in water for, like, 17 hours. It will still stay stolid. So they don't come off then? No, they're great band-aids. Okay. I'm telling you, I love them. Support um, stars. Keep it in the sky and band-aids on your fingers. Exactly. Okay. And uh, Rudy and Bob are still fast at work on our uh, series. Hilarious. I don't want to reveal them yet because uh, right now there's a, a, an adventure that is, is being played out on Bob's end where he's creating superheroes with us, as well as Rudy is fast at work at the, the, the scenario that we've given him, Omleta. They work we are talking to Jay because two gentlemen behind him. We've got Aaron Talbot standing by with something totally cool online. Also, a big party here happening this Saturday. Who are these gentlemen that have been waiting so patiently behind us right now? Check them out. Well, these gentlemen are uh, Robert and Andrew, who are actually professional comic book writers who live here in the city. <clears throat> they are professional comic book writers. Well, let's find out what that means. Let's talk to Andrew. Hello, Andrew. How are you? I'm tired. How are you? <laughs> Awesome. And uh, how are you this morning? I'm great. Awesome. Great. Awesome. Let's talk about comic book writers. How does one write for comic book? How is it different than being a writer than, say, a novel, um, you know, a how-to, a fiction, non-fiction? Um, a lot of comics are done on a work-for-hire basis, which means people hire you to write specific things. Um, beyond that, uh, they, both novels and uh, graphic novels, comics, pay pretty poorly to start with. <laughs> So um, it's, a, it's, a very, it's a very hard thing to get into. You need to write for um, an artist as well as an editor, uh, as well as a publisher, as well as the audience. So um, I'd say on the whole, comics are slightly harder to get into than uh, yeah. prose. Robert can... Niche market. Um, looking at some of the books in front of you right now, um, talk about some of them specifically that, that you've written and, and who, what collaboration did you go through to write them? Um, well, for the prose, the nice thing about it is you can do it uh, all by yourself. Right. But for comics, you need to you need to not only think visually, but I, I think probably the most important thing is that you get a good artist. Right. So you need to be personable, and you need to be kind of good. You need to lure them in somehow. And uh, um, so, yeah, I think in, in terms of collaboration, like some of the things I did here are work for hire, like Lost and Star Trek, right. things like that. Um, for the comics, I've actually just been doing my, my own comics, like creator-generated comics. Um, so yeah, I think, I think with comics, the big difference, obviously, is getting a good artist, and uh, right then on. you're on your way. We're going to check in with you two later, because I want to show you the fruits of Bob and Rudy's efforts, because they're writing a comic right now, and I want you two to weigh in on whether you find it, if it's going to be the next Superman, Supergirl, Spider-Man, you know what I'm saying? Are you up for that? <laughs> Okay. Get some coffee in you, brother. You can do it. You can hang in there. I know you can. Uh, we're also going to go head down here because Aaron Talbot is uh, here to talk about something that is happening. Not just comics, not just comic creators, not just providing a forum for new comic writers here in the city, but there's also a whole webcast slash podcast event happening. Jay, there's a big party happening here on Saturday night. There is. Saturday night starting at 8 o'clock. Uh, we're very proud uh, to be able to showcase Aaron's play. Uh, he wrote a play called Superhero Live. Uh, we showcased it in the store twice last summer as part of NextFest. Uh, it was awesome. Lots of people came out. It's, it's amazing to see someone take something that I'm used to reading about on the page and turn it into real life and, and act it out and play it. It's, it's, it's funny. It's exciting. It's got a great musical score, as you can kind of hear going yeah. in the background. Let's go check in with Aaron. We're going to find out. Hello, Aaron. Hi, Bridget. And who is this gentleman here? This is Mr. Michael Cowie. Hello, Michael. Welcome to Breakfast Television. Hi. Uh, so talk about this Superhero Live event that's happening here on Saturday night. We've heard it's a big party. There's Obviously, we're getting a sample of the band. This is two members of the band. Yep, the band but is called Drunk by Noon. Uh -huh. And uh, it's uh, Mr. Sean McKee on bass and Mr. John Davidge on guitar. Uh, they composed all the music for Superhero Live, which is a comic book, a spoken word rock opera. So and it's happening online. Yeah, it's happening online. The website and all the uh, sound editing and effects were put in by Mr. Michael Cowie. And uh, yeah, it was, uh, it's an eight-episode series now that we've changed into a, a sort of a podcast event. So this is huge. And are you, you guys, obviously, I'm going to put myself out on a limb and say you guys like comics? I like comics. You like comics? <laughs> I, I used to read comics all the time when I was younger, and working on this project has been great. I'm totally back into it now, and 
and a lot's changed in 15 years. <laughs> it's a pretty spiffy. It's a pretty spiffy website. It's www.superherolive.com. Check it out. It can also get to it via uh, Happy Harbor Comics website as well. But tell us about the um, the idea behind it. That it is a live sort of podcast. That it will be up and running, especially on Saturday night. Yeah. The uh, the party itself is to launch the website. Uh, the the podcasts. Uh, the website's online, but the podcast won't be live until Saturday. Uh, where here, after we premiere the episode at uh, Happy Harbor at the, at the party, then anybody around the world can download the episode. Cool. Now, are you a superhero? On, like, what is Superhero Live about? Superhero Live is about the greatest superhero story ever told. Which is what? It's about uh, a, a, a man. Well, I don't want to give away too much of the... Uh, okay, talk, talk about your superhero, because we're trying to create one this morning, and mine, mine kind of sucks. Well, not really. <laughs> She's, she takes people out with almonds. Well, he's, he's a, a lowly security guard that works for this company called Genoflex. And then uh, his, his father was killed by criminals way back when he was young. Ooh, yeah, and he, uh, he, he spends the rest of his life trying to clear his father's name. Yes. Now, uh, he's discovered by these two mysterious figures in the background, this guitar player and this bass player. And they see him, and they start describing the perfect superhero, the ultimate superhero. And uh, the whole thing is done with a soundtrack behind it. Which, obviously, this man is sort of the, the mechanical yeah. vision behind it. Yeah, they, uh, they composed all the music, and they played it. Uh, we uh, recorded it all at uh, Wolf Willow Sound. Uh, yeah, it was great. It was a, it's a fantastic experience. Uh, we have to say that it was uh, the grant uh, from the Alberta, no, excuse me, the Edmonton Arts Council, specifically the Lee Fund for the Arts, uh, gave us the money to be able to put it online. So we're really grateful to them. Awesome. Check it out, www.superherolive.com. And there's and the trailer's online right now. Go there and check it out. We'll be right back after this. Mm -hmm. 